Okay, so let's go and uh, troubleshoot the internet connection or data connection on this Alcatel Onyx smartphone. And these uh, steps appears to any Android uh, version 8.1.0. Okay. Okay, so let's go to settings and open network internet connections. Open that and then uh, let's go. And first, I'm going to show you two steps. Okay, the first and main one is to make sure that your APN settings are typing correctly so let's go to mobile networks and let's go to access point names and then uh, this is the APN from Cricket Pipate so for Cricket uh, monthly recurring payments or postpaid uh, please contact Cricket Postpaid in order to have them give you uh, the current uh, APN uh, values but this is for the prepaid so um the name that uh, has to be internet or that doesn't that matter much apn is ndo uh, it's going to be the right one and then proxy port you don't see any values that's okay uh, the main one is mmsc you have to have the address and then mms proxy that's how you have to have the address in order to be able to send or receive picture message a uh, multimedia port 80 uh, mobile country code is very very important you have the same uh, mobile network code that's for cricket code 150 you have to have the same value and authentic authentication type um, it doesn't matter if you have a value or just none don't worry about it APN type you have to have default MMS FOTA SEOPL okay and then also APN protocol APN roaming protocol, you have to have that value. Um, APN enabled. So this one it doesn't matter. It has, this is on actually. Okay, so it's off. You have to um, turn it on. Um, I'm going to show you this after how to uh, refresh it. Embedder, um, you have to have those values. And MPNO type, none, not set. Okay, so. This is make sure that you have the right APN and also that it is on. This has to be on. Okay. This. Okay. And um, just in case, just go to the three dots and reset. Reset the APN. Okay. So restoring default APN. And now let's. There you go. That button is work. It showed that it was reset successfully uh, domestic data has to be on international data roaming uh, it has in only only if you go to overseas you have to turn on okay you go to overseas but doing within the state you don't have to worry about it uh, disable 2g um, I don't think this, this is optional this, this has nothing nothing to do with your internet connection but just uh, for you can have it on okay uh, because like i said here um so i'm gonna play this with my this setting disables 2g service on the device if 2g service is disabled some apps and functions may not work in locations with limited coverage okay so that is so i uh, it's, an, uh, it's a good option to have that one on just in case you are out <clears throat> excuse me outside of cricket coverage cricket we pay coverage okay all right so we uh, went to this option now let's go back and you're gonna check another thing here let's go to um system at the bottom of the setting section let's go to system and then let's go to reset options okay so here, <clears throat> the first option is reset Wi-Fi mode Bluetooth. This is what we need to do in order to uh, refresh cellular data as well. Okay, so just go in, uh, reset settings. If you have any password, pattern, or pin, just enter to confirm and reset settings. And at the bottom, you have to see a network setting has been reset properly. Okay, and uh, just a quick also in case that you want to um, so if this option reset your Bluetooth cellular Bluetooth um, 
in case that you are struggle connecting Bluetooth devices or connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, and this uh, reset also uh, remove any password already stored on your phone with any device or Wi-Fi. So you have to enter the password again to order to connect them. And if you struggle with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, sometimes is the internet service or also the Bluetooth device. So make sure that the Bluetooth device is properly work working and um, and properly charged as well. Okay, and is Wi-Fi uh, problem? Just disconnect your router or refresh your router router. And uh, so yeah, make sure that, that one. sometimes it's not the phone. Um, so <clears throat> it's not the phone so just uh, make sure that you do troubleshooting all right so i hope this is gonna help you to refresh your cellular data uh, on this phone and of course let me know if you have any questions please subscribe to my channel and i am most of the time trying to reply any questions and um, search my other tutorials related to this Alcatel Onyx phone in case that you forgot your password part of plane. I have a tutorial how to remove or reset your phone using external keys when you are not able to access to the phone settings to do so, okay? And also, if I accident, TalkVac has been activated on your phone. I also have a tutorial how to disable that feature because it's kind of hard to use um, once you touch the screen on the phone, there is a voice and some um, things show on your screen. Okay, thanks so much. Subscribe.